Welcome everyone. Today, we have illuminating stories to share. They combine the power of the sun with the joy of learning and cooking. We look forward to sharing our program successes through the eyes of the facilitators. Imagine a world where education breaks free from the confines of classrooms and where sustainable solutions seamlessly integrate into our daily lives. I'm Mary Buschenek. And I'm Jennifer Gasser. And we are the founders of the Solar Education Project based in Ohio. Many of you know us as the Solar Sisters. SCP is dedicated to spreading solar education across many regions. We collaborate with educational institutions, vocational, technical, and STEM programs, community organizations, libraries, science centers, and businesses. By working together with our partners, we will create a solar literate society where individuals from all walks of life are equipped with the knowledge and tools to harness the power of the sun to cook delicious and nutritious foods. Now let's talk about the star of our show, the sun. It is the most abundant and renewable resource available to us. By harnessing the sun's power to cook our meals, we transform the act of preparing food into an enlightening and engaging learning experience. SEP intertwines the principles of solar cooking with a theme-based curriculum, creating an immersive educational journey that will leave you positively glowing. One of our goals over the past several years has been to enable educators to use this unique technology in their classrooms as a teaching tool. With resources and support from SEP and Solar Cookers International, leaders in solar cooking advocacy, educators can begin to feel confident with solar cooking theme-based learning for their students. From kindergarten to adulthood, no student is too young or too old. Now, let's hear from some of the educators who have utilized the resources SEP has developed. Anastasia is a teacher at a Montessori Academy in the United States. Throughout the school year, Anastasia utilized SEP's STEM through solar cooking curriculum resource. She recently shared with us how she integrated the lessons and activities into her curriculum. So it, it did start with my own personal interest in it. Um, I had an oven that would heat the house up, you know, when you cook in the summer. So getting the idea of being able to cook my dinner outside, have it cooking all day long and bring it in was awesome. And it was so easy. It was so easy. Um, so bringing that into the classroom was important so that you can, I could spread the word and the students could then get excited about that and take that home. And I just added to the drive that um, one of the students who cooked on our last day of school went home and cooked his dinner at home also. And that that was that's the goal right there. 100% is for the kids to get it home and then it can become something more for them and their families. And the word just keeps spreading. In Montessori at the adolescent level, the students are learning that kind of like, like as they say, money is life. Right. And they they need to have a business in class business that um, gives them the opportunity to start earning money to really understand and connect with the value of their money and where they're going to put their money as a class or as an individual if they go out further and and do something with the the solar cooker oven even beyond that so they're talking about dried fruits dried mushrooms um, dried herbs because that's something that they can do pretty quickly because they're all about, I want my money now. You know, they can <laughs> dry it and package it and sell it. So um, they are thinking about that. And I think it's going to be a wonderful tool for them. Uh, some of the students are talking about chutneys and how to, you know, like your applesauce, Jennifer, I think it's your famous applesauce. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Taking that and just yeah. expanding on that. <laughs> with um, different kinds of chutneys that they can sell. A lot of potential for the students in um, an entrepreneurship type of platform. So the stone soup, I 
I absolutely love that story. And it, it takes me back to, you know, 30 years ago, my early days of teaching and to be able to replace the crock pot for my stone soup lesson, even with adolescence, to be able to replace the solar cooker and now do our stone soup that way was amazing. So it was really a great, a great thing to do. I, I made stews all the time, but I didn't connect it until I saw your stone soup. <laughs> The, um, the importance of the students being able to see folks from around the world, culturally understand how they're living, how they sustain themselves, and compare and contrast and see how we can all um, be more mindful of energy sustainability and um, and cultural literacy, food literacy, energy literacy, bringing all of that together and thinking about being a world citizen instead of just, I'm in my house and I'm in my school here in Las Vegas or here in Sacramento, um, How what's going on around the world? And so you have a part in your um, STEM through solar cooking book and it's where in the world. And I think it's so important for the students to see that. I also have students who are part of the Montessori Model United Nations program. And taking a look at the 17 sustainability goals, which is also mentioned in your, your booklet, is amazing for the students. They're, they're talking about their rights and they're very egocentric at this point in their lives and it's important for them to step out of their own brain and see how the world works and how are people around the world solving their energy problems and how are they feeding themselves it's it's just really important for the students to see that at sep our mission is to empower individuals using solar cookers and theme-based learning we believe that solar cooking education should be accessible to all, creating inclusive learning environments where people from diverse backgrounds can participate and benefit. It's about bringing sunshine into the lives of everyone. Let's listen to how Taylor and Anna utilize the curriculum with special needs students working in a STEM Innovation Center in Colorado. And we can introduce the theme and give it to them in a format that they can comprehend and take breaks from and have that outcome. So I think that was helpful for them and the kids that had talkers could have the specific programs on their talkers and interact with the materials. And doing the cross cross curricular things like math and reading and vocabulary and um, social expectations like we said you know just asking to borrow the scissors or asking permission to use something and then um you know communicating with their peers to decide what they wanted to cook and and really seeing that self-confidence um after they had a product they practiced something they like all of what they were working on was cooking something so when they actually had an outcome a tangible outcome that they actually cooked pizza rolls or cookie, you know, cookies or whatnot, they, it definitely grew their self-confidence of like, wow, I did something. It right. worked. Yeah. And so. they, they, sometimes I think what I see from my perspective is they have the innovation opportunity, but they, it's hard to get through the instructional piece and, and make the plan and have that outcome. And this was a lot more streamlined to the outcome for them. So that worked really well. We believe that learning should be holistic, inclusive, interconnected, and relevant to the world around us. Through themes such as sustainability, climate change, and environmental stewardship, we empower learners to connect with the pressing issues of our time and become active participants in finding and building solutions. It's about inspiring the next generation to be the change makers our world needs. Meet Ralph from Northeast Ohio Impact Academy. Ralph is the shop instructor at the Academy and works collaboratively with the general education staff to integrate classroom lessons with project-based making. Let's listen to how Ralph creatively uses project-based learning. The goal of the project-based learning is 
showing the student how wonderful it is to be able to take classroom curriculum and involving it in a shop and taking something that may be 2D and bringing it to 3D, right? Right, you know, we can learn all day about solar ovens and solar energy and electromagnetism. And we can look at the sun and it's there, it's real, it's, you can't touch it. And you build something and use that energy and they see it. They taste the cake today, right? That was the big thing is they tasted the cake that you literally got up and put outside. You know, you didn't sit in an oven, you didn't, you were, you were outside and you were using what, you know, obviously was given to us graciously by a higher being, so, or a higher power, or a solar power, right? A solar power, right? Yeah, so. You need to learn how to communicate with people that you may or may not want to communicate with. You have to learn how to take your ideas and know that somebody else may have an idea to make sure I get even better. One of the greatest things you can do is surround yourself with somebody who does things better than you. It makes you a better person. Through global collaborations, SCP leverages local expertise cultural insights, and community-driven approaches in order to align with specific needs and contexts of all regions. Breaking barriers to educational opportunities is a cornerstone of our collaborative work. In Kenya, our solar sister, Grace, uses the SEP workshop curriculum to instruct adults and youth. Let's watch Grace as she discusses the effect of daily exposure to smoke with members of St. Joseph Small Christian Community. Fuels, ama vitu ambayo tunatumia kwa kupika, kama gas, kama kuni, kama stima, zote ziko na danger zake. Na kitu ambayo tunaona iko safe sana ni kupika kwa jua, si ndio? Mm. Eh. So, um, eh, ni hatari gani tunapata wakati tunapika na gas? Na tarigani tunapata tunapika na kuni, tarigani tunapata tunapika na nini. Alafu sasa mutuambie, sola kuki metusaidia kwa njia gani. Tunataka tu tuongee, tufanya discussion, tuongee tu, 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 tu tuone vile, hii sola kuki metusaidia na mna gani. Nilitaka tu kwa kumbusha machake tu kuhusu hiyo dangerous ambayo tunapata. Next time tukikutana, tutasema ingine tena. We'll do another session ambayo yu iko kwa kitabu chetu ndio tukumbukanga ile vitu ambayo tumejifunza sawa tunasema yende mbele ndio maana tunasema yende mbele ndio maana tunasema yende mbele hapo sana very nice very nice to meet Developing relationships of mutual respect leads to vibrant and essential partnerships. These partnerships fuel creativity, innovation, and collective action, magnifying the impacts of educational initiatives and making a tangible difference in communities across the globe. Let's see the work being done in Haiti by Ellie and Aline. Using SAP workshop and curriculum resources, this dynamic team works to promote solar cooking education in their community and at the Hope Orphanage School where Aline is principal. By using solar cookers, we introduce a practical and tangible application of solar energy, bridging the gap between theory and practice. Students not only grasp the science and engineering behind solar technology, but they also witness firsthand how their actions can contribute to a greener planet. As they cook meals using the power of the sun, they become ambassadors of change, igniting inspiration in their communities and promoting renewable energy solutions.
Today, as we stand at the intersection of education and sustainability, each of us has the power to reshape our world and to inspire, educate, and transform. By embracing solar cookers and theme-based learning, we not only equip future generations with vital knowledge, but also inspire them to become catalysts of change in their communities and beyond.